Well, everybody, it's your boy, I'm a little to a brand new comic to the special. Whoop. That's right. And today, that's right. You don't know who's back. It's the king of the streams. We have spoken about all the other dope platforms on the Chicken Soup for the Soul family. But now we're talking about the head one, the head chief Chicken Soup for the Soul, bringing that goodness for your heart. You know what I mean? Again, again, and good stuff for the ladies. You know what I mean? So, gentlemen, for you to sit down and watch and get all emo with. Let me introduce the one, the only Mr. Chris Rosey, baby. How you doing? I am doing great. And uh, my kids will be so excited that you just uh, described me as emo, or at least something I'm involved with is emo. <laughs> That's awesome. So funny. Well, you got those emos in the movies over here that pull heartstrings on this particular network, mostly. You know what I mean? Not, not that all the other channels don't, but this one definitely likes to do that. You know what I mean? Make yes. you feel all-ish. <laughs> Absolutely. And we have a ton of great titles to give you all the feels this month on Chicken Soup for the Soul. So this may be the worst title for a movie I've ever heard in my life, literally right before Aaron. Really? That was the best. <laughs> that was the best name you could come up with for this movie. Literally. Um, <laughs> but I, yeah, literally, was that the best name you could come up with? Uh, but I, I love this film. I think Justin Long is one of the most underrated uh, comedic actors working today. I just love the guy. I, I was He was phenomenal in Galaxy Quest. Um, that is when I first went, who is this guy? He's great. Um, I think he's very fun. But Kobe Smulders from uh, The Avengers, uh, Ryan Hansen from the, uh, Veronica Mars. So it's about a guy who gets dumped and then to add insult to injury, as well as a little lemon juice to the paper cut under your fingernail, he gets invited to his ex-girlfriend's wedding a month later. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. So uh, it wasn't her. It was him. He was apparently the problem. And um, so he decides he's going to go to the wedding and try and win her back. Um, it's, it's super fun. I loved it. I think it's great. Um, if you like rom coms, it's it's a great one with like a little twist. Excellent, excellent. And you know, you're not just too shame if you like rom coms. There's another one. What, what is Shameless? What is this? So Shameless is a British series. They made the William H Macy English version, American version, which is incredibly popular. But this is the oh, British okay. version that started the whole thing, and. I cannot say enough good things about this show. It is so good. Um, David Threlfall from Hot Fuzz, which I, Hot Fuzz is maybe one of my top 10 films of the last 10 years. I just can't, if, if it's playing, I'm sitting down and I'm going to watch the entire thing. Um, I just love that movie. And David Threlfall is freaking hysterical. He's such a skeezy individual in that uh, you just love oh. hating his pretentious character. Um, but Rebecca Atkinson from River City, Alice Berry from Scarborough, it's got it's a who's who of amazing British actors. And it's just about this insanely dysfunctional British family and all the like underworld criminal activities that they're all involved in. It's oh. very fun, extremely well written. And the the performances are just through the roof. I can't say enough good things. I laugh, and I, I know that sounds horrible, but I just laugh because it, it makes for incredible stories. I'm sure. Yep, for sure, for sure. Uh, it was Nanchero. Nanchero. So it, it's a British period uh, series. If you like things like Downton Abbey um, and Saltburn and that kind of thing. Um, it's, it's very fun. Uh, the, uh, cast, uh, Joanna Lumley, who is one of my absolute favorite actresses from absolutely fabulous or from ab fab as it is known, um, who I think is just brilliant, uh, is one of the leads in this George Asprey from, uh, the current, uh, Guy Ritchie hit ministry of ungentlemanly warfare, um, Susan Hampshire from vanity fair, tons of great actors. It, again, if you like uh, stodgy period dramas, this is this is definitely one to check out. Wonderful. All right, and then you know, stay, stay on that stuff. A royal affair. 
Hey. Yep. Very similar. Uh, takes place during the French Revolution. Um, stars the man that I have to make sure my wife never meets or I will be single the next day. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen. <laughs> my, my wife has an unhealthy interest in uh, young Mads. And um, anytime I'm flipping through uh, Netflix and I see a movie with him on it, I'm like, hey, is that a duck? And then when she turns her head, I scroll past Mads Mikkelsen. Ah, quickly, quickly. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good scene. Um, but yeah, this is very fun. Uh, if you love period dramas, it's, it's phenomenal. Uh, Alicia Vikander, um, from the green Knight, which is a great movie. Uh, check it out. That's excellent. He wants me to rush through it today. Don't let him see. And he got, he have, you seen, have you seen this movie? I have How? not. Okay. So do you like sushi? Not a fan of sushi or seafood. Cause I don't worry about texture. I've tried. Okay. All right. Yeah, right. My, my kids no? have the same issue. I love sushi. Um, someday a coroner will write in cause of death, cured meat and sushi. Uh, I just, I, I love it. It is um, one of my passions. And this documentary is about this guy who is arguably the greatest sushi chef in the entire world. And he's 85 years old and runs a sushi shop in tokyo in the subway that has like 10 stools in it and so people have reservations like three years in advance to try to get into this guy's what? restaurant are you serious wow um and he works in there with one of his sons and he also trained another one of his sons who now has a rival restaurant um but it's fascinating and he's interesting uh 85 years old still making sushi it's ridiculous but if you like sushi, if you like interesting character studies, uh, this was, I believe it was nominated. I don't remember if it won the Oscar for Best Documentary that year, um, but it was definitely nominated, and it's a phenomenal film. We've seen it like three times. Well, I'll watch it. I mean, I love me a good documentary, man. It's great. Bomb Girls. Bomb Girls. This is a bomb series is what I'm going to tell you. Um, Meg Tilly. One of my favorite actresses. I think she's spectacular from The Big Chill. Uh, Jody Balfour from The Crown, who's crushing it right now. Uh, Charlotte Hagel. Um, so this is about the women that worked in the munitions factories during uh, World War II. So the men left to go save the world, and the women helped them save the world by building all the bombs that were necessary uh, to carry out that mission. And so it's a dramatic series about all the sort of complications and difficulties that come with being uh, a mom and now having a full-time job and you're working with bomb. It's, it's crazy. I love this series. I think it's great. I love period anything, but um, this one I thought was particularly good. Again, I am more too, guys. So I got to check that one out. Now we got blood brothers. Uh oh, it's not like a lot of trouble here. Yes. Well, I mean, look at that woman. She's she's causing trouble everywhere she goes. Uh, Brit I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce it, but Brittany Fallardu, uh, and she's from the series Barbarians, which is great. Um, Zach Gold from Santa Clarita Diet. Mike Duff from The Truth About You. Really good cast. It's a psychological thriller. Um, this brother-in-law comes back into his family's life. Uh, seems to take an interest in his sister-in-law. And uh, I don't think it's a very healthy interest. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Um, but very, very fun, taut thriller. It reminds me of those like fri eight Friday night, ABC Friday night movies uh, back when you were a kid. <laughs> I know you're talking about. Yeah. So check it out. Excellent. Now, what, Dr. Finlay... Yes. So um, this is really a sweet um, television series. It's um, about a doctor during World War II, and he comes back to his practice out in the hinterlands of the UK. And um, it's about his struggles as being kind of a country doctor. It's a very, very sweet series. If you're looking for the heartwarming uh, if you're looking for something that the whole family uh, can watch, I mean, sometimes, you know, we would we would trot my grandma 
uh, out to watch TV with us. And there was always some sort of insanely inappropriate scene. We were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe grandma just saw that. Uh, this has none of that. So uh, this is grandma safe. You can bring her out and watch Dr. Huh. Family. But it's a great uh, series. Uh, David Rintel from the Crown. Everybody's from the Crown this this uh, month. I don't know why, but um, it's got a lot of good uh, good performers in there. Annette Crosby from Doctor Who, one of my favorite series, and I know it's yours. And uh, Ian Bannon from Waking Ned Divine, which is in, a, in one of my family's favorite movies as well. Um, yeah, check it out. And now we got The Remedy. What's yes. The Remedy. This uh, is a, f a phenomenal series. I mean, uh, the performances are great. If you like shows like ER, this is basically, what this is, is it's like ER meets Downton Abbey. So it's like the, you know, like in Downton Abbey, it's all about the upstairs, downstairs. So you've got the Royals upstairs and then everything that's going on downstairs with all the staff, yeah. this, like the, the plebeians and the servants. It's just as interesting, just on a different socioeconomic scale. Remedy is kind of the same thing. So you've got all these doctors up with all these dramatic situations and relationships on top. And then you've got all the nurses and orderlies underneath who are also dealing with their own storylines. So I, I love this series. I thought it was really, really well written and um, great cast. Excellent. The Worsen Tree, is it real? Is it real? <laughs> right. Uh, I wish. Um, this is uh, uh, just, a, it's a great example. Um, we uh, brought this out uh, to kind of celebrate, help us celebrate Juneteenth. Um, it's a really, really beautiful story. Um, yeah, it's uh, Alfred Woodward, um, Woodard from 12 Years a Slave. Uh, Helen Shaver from Hill Street Blues, um, Mary Alice from Malcolm X, which I just rewatched a couple of weeks ago. Man, that is a good movie. Uh, Spike Lee just knocked it out of the park uh, with Malcolm X. What a phenomenal film. But um, yeah, if you're looking for something uh, for the whole family to celebrate Juneteenth, um, this is definitely the one the one to watch. It's, it's uh, beautiful and I highly recommend it. Yeah, excellent. Something to do on my day off. Like get it off my job that celebrates, you know, shows love. There you go. There we go. Then we got stranger with my face. Uh oh. Yes. Um. So, <laughs> this is starring uh Catherine Hicks from a little movie that you might have remembered, Al, called Child's Play. Oh, that's what she's from. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of the best. Uh creepy doll movies ever made um and alex johnson from instant star but it's it's an awesome thriller about a girl who meets another girl who it ends up that they're identical twins and um so like with a lot of these movies we had one oh uh sydney sweeney the wrong daughter we had that one recently we still have it uh you should go watch it um especially if you like sydney sweeney but um this is very similar so uh, this girl, she meets this girl, she looks just like her. It ends up she's her long lost identical twin. But the story that she tells as to where she's been and why she's back doesn't quite end up holding water. And uh, it's it's super good. It's it's a great um, like TV thriller. Yeah, check it out. Well, I got to, I, mean, I definitely know people that love that, you know, and wouldn't get vexed watching it. Hey, what's, what's this all about? Yes. Uh, Miranda Raison from Warrior, who is imminently adorable. Uh, Toby Stevens from Lost in Space. Um, great cast. This is um, about two detectives that, you know, it's kind of an old trope. The, the, the sergeant puts these two detectives together and they, you know, they, they, they never can make it work and they're always butting heads. And uh, that's absolutely what this is. But it goes into some it goes way deeper than most of these shows do and really goes into the psychology behind both characters and why they can't get along but it's for like super important and difficult psychological reasons but they still have to 
work together. Um, if you like uh, police procedurals that, that go a little deeper, check this one out. The, I liked it a lot and the performances are phenomenal. Really, really good stuff. All right, folks, you see that? I mean, Chicken Soup for the Soul is bringing it to you. You got some viewing to do, some couch potatoing to do in front That's of the it. AC and enjoy it. You know, you don't want to be outside in this heat. Who do? Come on. So get, 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 you know, fill up your soul and fill up your belly if you want some Chicken Soup for the Soul goodness. Chris, man, you always bring us some of the good stuff. A lot of entertaining stuff this month, though, for real. A uh, lot. Very diverse yeah. content this month. I, I I kind of feel that you brought over from Chicken Soup this month. I I enjoy everything you were talking about. I I, I got to really peruse. Please, uh, you know, binge away because it's always free. That's my everybody's favorite four letter word, and not that other one, not that bad one. We're not doing that type of language right now, folks. All right, it is that Chicken Soup for the Soul. This, you know, look at the links below chickensouptv.com also you know, it's a free app on google and apple tv you know go every everywhere no excuse for you not to watch some free content with your family again you know like, like chris said grandma safe you know what i mean That's right. although you know some naughty grandmas will enjoy it and they don't want the safety but hey that's, you know that's another story right, that's another <laughs> channel all right so and with that chris as always thank you so much for hanging out appreciate it always the highlight of my month thank you so much my friend absolutely and with that folks you know what it is check out everything crusaders and of course everything out right here chicken soup for the soul and their whole family of channels all right that's the la proxima Whee!